Hi guys, my name is Viktor Vanyo and in this video I'm going to explain you how to make your own keyboard and you can customize it for your own purpose. I customized this keyboard for Eclipse based IDEs and now I'm going to demonstrate it. I'm going to build this project by pressing button and uh, you can customize this kind of keyboard for your own purpose for let's say Photoshop video editing programs, uh, 3D programs or even your own game controllers. So now I'm going to debug my program since I have connected my STM chip and you can step your program or step into the function return from the function let's say restart the program or terminate it for this project you will need one of these STM32 boards then universal PCB some buttons and a plastic box so just a very few things to get one of these keyboards. To generate this project I used STM32CubeMX program and uh, I selected USB full speed peripheral and up here I selected human interface device. And I used pin B3 to toggle 1.5 kilo ohm resistor which is connected to USB data plus and uh, this way I let computer know that uh, some device is connected and it is ready to communicate and uh, rest of these pins are up to you these are input pins you can name them as you want and I use them in pull up mode I connected one side of the button to the ground of each button and the second side I connected to uh, some input pin and these pins are pull up mode as I mentioned before so when the button is released the logic level is high and when you press the button the logic level is low so you can determine uh, when the button is pressed or released. STM32CubeMX generates this project as human interface device mouse, but I wanted a uh, keyboard, so I followed uh, this tutorial step by step to modify it to keyboard, so I also recommend it to you. And then I used uh, USB uh, hit keys from Mighty Pork and I also added uh, to project these defines uh, which are human interface device modifiers such as Ctrl, Shift, uh, Alt, etc. And here I waited 800 milliseconds to toggle USB enable pin. This is the one I mentioned before which toggles 1.5 kilo ohm resistor which is connected to USB data plus to start the communication and uh, here I just watch which button was pressed and wait until it's released and uh, I just uh, send the key I want and then I send a report that it has been released and uh, I do this to every key of 12 buttons I have and uh, here is how it looks like when you pressed uh, some modifier and uh, some key at once so this is the whole program and it is really uh, easy to modify and really useful itself so it's up to you everything is uh, shared uh, and uploaded uh, on github 
So I think uh, this is useful project for you. So that's it. See you. Bye.